Today, I'd like to talk about one of the largest birds in Massachusetts, the turkey vulture. Although they are relatively new to the area, they've become a very valuable contribution to the ecosystem. The first breeding pair of turkey vultures wasn't observed in Massachusetts until 1954, and now they regularly migrate up here in the spring to breed and raise their young. It can be hard to spot turkey vultures, especially when they're nesting. They like to nest in sheltered areas such as caves or hollow logs. For a little over a month after the eggs are laid, both parents will take turns incubating them, and will care for the chicks for multiple months after they hatch. Once the chicks are old enough, they'll leave the nesting area and may join a communal roost nearby. While turkey vultures typically feed alone, at night they roost together, with the roost sometimes being made up of dozens of birds. Turkey vultures are what are known as carrion birds, meaning their diet consists mainly of already dead animals. Because they have extremely acidic stomach acid, they can eat infected carcasses without getting sick, including those with rabies and cholera. Compared to other birds, the turkey vulture has an incredibly well-developed sense of smell, allowing them to find food from long distances and under significant cover. Because of their diet, turkey vultures are incredibly important for the environment. Because they get rid of decaying carcasses, they limit the spread of harmful bacteria and diseases. Without them, local animals and potentially humans would be more exposed to disease. This is even more important when you consider the rise in car use in the past decades, increasing the amount of roadkill. A lot of people dislike turkey vultures. They're not as colorful or pretty as other birds, and many see their scavenger diet as dirty and disgusting. But without them, our environment would be a lot worse off, so instead try to learn to appreciate them for the large, impressive, helpful birds that they are.